Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Welcome back to another journaling video. Today's video is gonna be super chill and chatty. I thought we would just sit down together and I would chat a little bit about what's going on, uh, kind of catch you up on how November is starting to look in my journals and how I've set them up for November. And uh, I also thought I would catch you up on I don't know, just some things I've been doing in my journals lately, um, how I've been organizing my Traveler's Notebook supplies now that I am using a Traveler's Notebook system as part of my analog stack. And uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun for the last part to just chat a bit about new things coming out for the end of the year. Uh, I'm a bit behind, but I wanted to talk a bit about the new Traveler's Town release. That is the 2024 theme for Traveler's Company and yeah, just chat a bit about first impressions on that and what I'm thinking of potentially grabbing for the end of the year. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. Uh, let me just maybe start and move things around because I want to show you how I set up November in my journals and how that that is looking. So yeah, I'll move these guys here. My idea journal is pretty much the same. No update, no update here. Just uh, writing down quick notes when I feel like it. And then my Hobonichi Weeks is sitting patiently <laughs> waiting to be, to be filled up. I I'm still using my kind of just memo pad to write down my weekly list to supplement this spread, but I'm very excited to start using an actual planner come the new year. Um, so I think I will be starting this in December. December? Yes, <laughs> December. And uh, I'm gonna start like the first week just so that I can have like a proper planning space again. The memo pad is working, but I do miss having like a, a book and not like a random pad of paper. So I'm excited about that. And then I did set up November in my traveler's notebooks. Uh, mainly in this one actually, because this is just a, a commonplace journal. So I kind of add to this as I feel like it. I think I'm gonna put when I finish and start this when I do complete it so that I can see like the time where the commonplace book started and finished. But I haven't really done any like specific setups in here. But for this book, I'll open, oh my gosh, I'll open it up. So I'm not sure if you have seen this, but I did add this little card here recently to this flap. The reason why I actually have this here is because my to and fro wallet that I got was starting to actually, I'll show you, it was starting to get some rub off from my camel because this traveler's notebook is a bit newer. So I just put this here to protect it from getting stained, but yeah, I added this card here from the B-Sides and Rarities and I think it's really cute. So that was kind of fun. But uh, for my daily journal, which is where I write kind of one day per page about what's going on in life and all that good stuff, I kept it up for October and, and I set up November here. It's... It's a very simple setup if you want to call it that. I quite literally just uh, go in and add the tab from the Traveler's Notebook sticker set. So I just went ahead and did that and I have been journaling almost every day. Let's see, have I missed a day? I missed one day, I missed the third, but I've been keeping up with it and it's been like really nice to use this and just not have the pressure to write every day even though I do find looking back, I do write most days if not all days. Sorry, it was getting dark so I just fixed. <laughs> I just went and fixed the lighting so hopefully that's better but uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I have been keeping up with this 
for almost all the days in November so far. It's been really good. I'm really liking it. And I checked yesterday. I'm probably about a quarter through the insert, which is kind of cool. So I'll probably get through some of this in December. I'm gonna start a new one for the new year just so that I don't have two years going over one book, but this has been good so far. So I'm curious to see how much the rest of the year takes up in terms of the pages. But yeah, this is going really well. And that was, that was my November setup, guys. One sticky tab, but I kind of like it. I like the more, the more simple approach. I don't have to worry about creating spreads and doing all that stuff. And once the new year comes around, I'll have like, you know, more things I want to fill out in my planner as the month starts. So I will have a couple more things to do, but yeah, it's nice just kind of adding the new tab for the new month and just uh, having a really laid back, <laughs> laid back approach to uh, setting up this journal for each month. So yeah, that's how that is looking. So that's pretty much the only like proper setup that I did, but I wanted to show you also how my commonplace book is looking because I did add, I think one spread that you haven't seen. I kind of just add to this after I've done my daily journaling. So if I have time where I want to sit down and do like a proper journaling session, I will do that in this book after this one. And, uh, oh, not the leaf. I need to like glue this down. I think I might put some like washi tape behind it or, <laughs> or something, but we have this spread here, this one, which I think you've seen. And then I added recently this spread, which is for Pokemon. So this is for like playing the Pokemon games, mainly on the Nintendo Switch. I just glued in a, here, I'll, I'll lift it up closer for you. Um, so I glued in this, uh, oh, what is this? I glued in this printable that I found from Reddit. This is just a graphic of all the Gen 1 Pokemon, which is like the OG game, but also one of the Nintendo Switch games, which is called Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee. And then the right side, I have some more game information. This is a type effectiveness chart. And I actually just made this myself because I didn't really like how the other ones worked and this made lot, a lot more sense to me. So I just made this and stuck it in as well. And then I just wrote at the bottom where there was a bit of space what this spread, uh, what this spread was so that I knew when I looked back on it what this was referencing. And then that's kind of all that's in here right now. So just a couple pages in, we'll see how long it takes to uh, finish this guy, but this has been really fun as well. And I'm really liking the kind of minimal, the minimal approach, not really worrying about decorating, just kind of finding cool stuff that I want to paste in. So. Yeah, this has been, this has been really good too. And uh, when I took out my traveler's notebooks, I decided to also take out my kind of stash of things that I have for these so that I could easily access them. So I thought I would just show you how I've organized those in case, in case you're curious, so. Let me, let me grab it and show you. Okay. That's kind of in frame, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so let me zoom out a little bit for you. So what you can see here is what I have named my, my journal, my traveler's notebook box. <laughs> this is a uh, wood box that I borrowed, I'll use that word, borrowed from my parents. This is actually a CD holder originally. So you'd actually like, I didn't really grow up with CDs after the age of 10, but you would actually like use these slots to store CDs. 
I adopted these into my care and <laughs> I decided to use this to store all my traveler's notebook stuff because I thought it kind of it kind of worked very very nicely and it fits very well so I'll show you how I've organized my things before I get into the traveler's notebook section I will mention at the back here you can see some cases which are these kinds of cases. I have my video games in here right now. I'm going to move them out because I have a second one of these. So I'll have like one for planner stuff, a second for video gaming. So like kind of one box per hobby. But for now, I just have them in the back and I'm going to move them out later. But I'll kind of focus on these four, these four sections, which have the planner things. So first thing that I have is in this bottom right square. This is my label embosser. This is by Dymo. It's very, very dusty, but it looks like this. And uh, this is what I use for labeling notebooks, uh, adding things to uh, label items, all that good stuff. It's kind of like a weird size. It's very difficult to store, which is why I keep it in here and not in a drawer. So, it fits quite well here, which is why I have it tucked into this section. And uh, I'll probably just also throw in, I don't have any right now, but I want to get some clear embossing tape to put in this because I have the black right now. So I'll probably put that in here as well once I, once I get it. The second section here, oh my gosh, it's like... It's falling apart. Uh, so the second section here is where I'm keeping my boxes for my traveler's notebook supplies. So I have two here because I lost my box that my standard came in and I just, I can't find it. So I have my box for my passport here. And then this is the box that my book cover came in, which is the traveler's factory book cover. So I have this in here as well. This guy, I don't think, do I have? No, this guy's empty. So it's just the box that I have in here. And then the other thing that I have is my passport TN box. And in here, I like to keep kind of the maintenance things for my traveler's notebooks. So I have some elastics. These are for both the standard and passport size because I, again, have lost my standard, my standard box, but I keep those here. I have a, a jump band. I actually really don't, <laughs> I really don't like these. I find they like stretch weirdly. And I think I've just discovered in the time I've used Traveler's Notebooks, I don't really like to keep multiple inserts in a cover, so I don't really have a ton of use for these, but I keep one just in case. I used to have like the little set, but I lost the rest of them, so this is the one that's remained. <laughs> I have um, these, which is the care for the notebook. I think this came with the, the A6, and then this is the passport size little leaflet that comes with it. And then the last thing is my cloth bag that came with the traveler's notebook. So I kind of have like the tools and boxes over here. And then over here I have the notebooks and inserts and accessories for the notebook. And I've grouped them based on size. So I have passport and pocket at the front. And then at the back I have standard. So. I'll go into passport first and show and show you these. All right, so for the passport and pocket inserts, I have, what is this, four passport and then some field notes in the back. I'll start with the field notes actually. So these are not for traveler's notebook. These are field notes, so they're not uh, going in my traveler's notebooks, but I like to keep my extras here. I have one book here, which is part of the current set I'm going through. And then 
I have another three pack that I picked up when Wonder Pens restocked because it's very hard to find these in Canada. So when my local stationery stores restock, I always pick them up. So I have these kind of in the back of the passport section because they're like bigger than the passports. And then I have four passport inserts. I have the sticker release paper, which I picked up recently. I haven't used it yet, but I have it ready for when I need it. I have the lightweight paper, which is like the Tomoe River paper insert. I have this insert, which is the craft paper insert cover with sticker release paper in it that I DIY. And then this is the Starbucks X Traveler's Notebook collab, which is the, uh, let me see, where's that empty page to show you? I used to store stickers in here, but it just has these uh, clear slips and you can put like photos or cards or ephemera in here. So I keep that in here as well, just cause I'm not, I'm not using it at the moment. So I definitely have a lot more inserts when it comes to standard because I've had that traveler's notebook for longer. So I will, let's see, I'll go through these quickly as well. There we go. So first guy here, this is the B-Sides and Rarities letter pad, which looks like this. It was a limited edition release, but I think, I think they made it part of their regular lineup. I might be wrong on that, but it's just a like list pad that you can put into your traveler's notebook, which is very, very handy. I also have the message card insert that came with the B-Sides and Rarities as well. It has the cow on the front. <laughs> and uh, this is actually the uh, card that I use in the front of my passport, but it just has a bunch of these letter press cards, which are really nice. I have this insert, which is one of my favorites. This is actually called their business card insert, but I like to refer to it as like a Polaroid uh, album. <laughs> so it, let me see, I have a good photo, here we go. So I have some in here, but these are Instax prints and as you can see, they fit perfectly in this insert. So whenever I have like extras of these, I'll put them in here so I can store them and it's really, really great for that. So this is a fantastic insert. I love having this to store my photos so they don't get lost. I have a craft envelope, which I usually will put my letter pad in. I have the the B-Sides and Rarities wallet, which looks like this in the olive color. And then the rest of these things are also accessories. I have a kind of business card uh, clear slot uh, zip case situation. I have a regular zip case. So this actually just has a big pocket in the front and then a zip compartment here. And then I have some pockets, which I picked up recently because I thought this would be helpful to have if I ever needed a pocket that I wanted to put in an insert or on my notebook. So yeah, that's kind of how I'm storing my stuff. I guess that was a little bit of a unofficial traveler's notebook insert collection for you <laughs> as well. But I find this is really helpful for storing the traveler's notebook stuff because it's really easy to just like kind of flip through and see, see what you have and grab what you need. But I'll just take this away and then I'll talk about the traveler's town for a little bit. 
Okay, so I've moved my crate <laughs> to the side and now I thought I would chat a bit about Travelers Town because it came out in August, I think, and at that point I wasn't using Traveler's Notebooks, but now that I am using Traveler's Notebooks, I'm like, hmm, maybe maybe I wanna check out what's going on, what's going on over there. Let me decrease this so it's not so bright. I'm gonna put photos here of what I'm talking about here, but I thought I would just go through and see what the stuff for 2024 looks like. Um, the one thing I love about Traveler's Notebook is they always do this cool like theme every year and they write this like really beautiful story passage about it. So I actually wrote this in my commonplace book because I really liked it. And I usually don't buy the dated inserts from Traveler's Notebook. So the pamphlet usually comes with this written in it, but I don't buy the notebook so I don't get the pamphlet. So I wrote it down for myself, but Besides the kind of main inserts that they release every year, so that's like the vertical dated insert for the week, the horizontal weekly dated insert, the monthly dated insert, they also release these fun little, fun little accessories, which is always cool to see. And uh, we have the clear folder here first, which looks very cool. So in standard and passport, I never know I never know what to use these for, so I'm probably not gonna buy them this time, but the passport one is really cute. I like like the little the little window in the middle. That's really fun. But I I don't see how they'd fit into my setup, so I'll probably probably leave those. This I'm definitely gonna pick up. This is the 2024 sticker set, I think is what it's called. Yep. Yeah. So the cool thing about this is it's not just the decorative stickers you see on the front, but it also comes with the tabs that I like to use in this notebook, as well as um, it comes with pockets, it comes with icon stickers. I have an idea of what I wanna use the icon stickers for next year, which I'll share maybe in a couple months, but I think it would be cool to use those. So yeah, the stickers are always really fun. I want to try to use the decorative stickers more as well. Maybe if I end up archiving notebooks, I'll put them on the binders. They also released the plastic sheet, which is like a pencil board. I think these are nice. The standard one, I think, is really pretty with like the blue and the brown. For me, I have a pencil board that I really like for my passport and for my standard. Where are they? I'll pull them out for you. Here they are. Oh, they kind of match, eh? <laughs> um, so these are my plastic sheets or pencil boards. This one is from last year's coffee and notebooks theme, which was the 2023 collection. And then this one is from the 2020 collection, which I actually got on Etsy. I didn't buy this in 2020, but I don't know. I just, uh, I think these ones are good. So I probably don't need any other pencil boards. I really like the green, <laughs> the green theme I have going on in my traveler's notebook. So I'll probably just stick with these, but I know some people like to collect them, which is fun, but once I start collecting things, I don't stop collecting things. So I'm trying to like hold off for now <laughs> and, uh, and just like let that be. But yeah, the pencil boards are always cool to check out. I always like seeing those. But uh, I think the ones I have are pretty good. So we'll just stick with that. And uh, really, how many uh, how many pencil boards does one need? I think I just need one, so. But very fun design, very fun design. Oh, and the back has like an orange grid, which is cool. Oh, and then this is what I, I just wish I could buy this separately, the guide, um, like the little pamphlet that comes with the regular and passport. I love this so much and like the stickers that comes with it, but I don't use their regular inserts. So 
I always just look at them from afar, but yeah, the, the stickers this year are so cool. And uh, the, little, the little illustrations are fun too. So yeah. So yeah, the Traveler's Town stuff is fun. I might, uh, I might pick that up from Wonder Pens or maybe Paper Plus Cloth once they restock it sometime. Not sure when. <laughs> but yeah, that was, uh, that was my mini first impressions of the Traveler's Town stuff. Very fun, very cool. I really loved the uh, like the story about people starting to come back into the town as being kind of like a metaphor for people starting to travel now that COVID has started to calm down a little bit versus like us all staying home. So I thought that was like a really beautiful like story that they created. So yeah, that was that was really cool. And there you go. There, there were my unfiltered first impressions that many of you probably did not ask for, but <laughs> yeah, that's kind of all I wanted to chat with you about today. The notebooks are good, the planner stash is good, and excited for 2024, but let me know how you like to store your planner supplies. It's something I don't talk about very much, and I don't think I've ever showed you how I store my stuff, but it's always kind of an interesting thing, right? Like we always buy these notebooks and these planners to use and then we never really talk about how we actually store and archive them. So I would love to know how you store and archive your unused supplies as well as your like used things and your used books. I need to buy a bookshelf. So I'm thinking I'll be putting my books on there because right now they're just in a box under my bed, but <laughs> we'll see when that happens. Um, but I would love any ideas if you have any cool ways to store things or even just simple ways to store things I would love I would love to know so yeah it sounds like the vocal fry is starting to come back into my voice which probably means I've talked enough uh so I think we're gonna end this off here thank you so much for watching if you're still hanging out with me I hope you enjoyed this chill little planner chat journal chat stationary chat I hope you had like a nice beverage while you were listening to me and Besides that, I hope you are all doing well. I hope you all have a fantastic week, month of November and it goes well for you. I hope the daylight savings does not get you down if you are in daylight savings time like I am now and uh, slightly very much despising it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.